Good morning, folks. Speedy streams from coronal holes continue impacting Earth's magnetic field. Every other solar index is being crushed by the Earth-facing solar quiet effect. The earthquakes continue, and we've got an interesting article on volcano eruptions as well. First, goodbye southern polar crown. It's tenuous at best and is heading over the limb for the far side. Coming to spaceweathernews.com, we see the satellite was bumping House of Pain and everything went jump, jump. Helio viewer corrects the vantage and it looks just like a mini earthquake in a camera. Zoomed out, you realize that the little shaking, even after correction, doesn't inhibit view all that much. Top event of note on our star was a central surface surge near the large sunspot. It had a good chance to produce ejecta at Earth, but it held back, surging plasma through the field structures and keeping it within the corona. It was only a minor C-class flare that resulted from it. This is, of course, the essence of the Earth-facing quiet sunspots and solar flares. The active region facing Earth on the north contains the most massive sunspot in months. Hasn't produced flares yet, but this morning I see the first signs of magnetic interaction in the north. Someone finally crossed the dance floor and extended a hand. Eyes on it. Solar wind is where all the aurora ingredients can be found. As yesterday's stream weakens a bit, we see another density shock wave hitting this morning. Instability and storm level conditions are likely today, and Karuna is still showing intermittent level 3 events. Heck, we even blew our power converter in the mobile observatory yesterday during one of the surface charging peaks overhead. Folks, I'm doing a deeper look on this topic, but quickly remember that we're building a sunspot coverage program for the Disaster Prediction app. The sunspot number is low right now, but the sunspot coverage is much higher. The big spot still only counts as one if you go with the current system. Disaster app would have a warning for this, along with the coronal holes facing Earth, south exits, north swings in, Myanmar takes a 6.9 earthquake. Rang a bit higher on some machines, but that's a fair reading. Luckily, it was modestly deep, so the injuries are few. Top article today is about gas bubbles and magma and how this contributes to volcanic events just as much as volume, lubriciousness, and silicate content. All volcano fans, take a peek over at that link you have below. Hopefully we'll have time today to finish up that deeper look I mentioned earlier. I will have eyes on the sunspot magnetism and solar wind today. The daily news is the daily news. Everything else starts at suspiciousobservers.org. Check it out if you haven't. We've got the pressure and radar forecasts around the globe, followed by shots of our star to close. It's 4.20 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.